Hello students, myself Gayatri Sachin Hulagiri. We are studying the topic number system. You, if you want to find our more videos, search as Gayatri Sachin. And if you like our videos, please share and sub subscribe. And now we will study the representation of numbers on abacus. Okay, what is abacus? Abacus is an, instru uh, an instrument which will have beads on it and we will have to separate it like ones, tens, hundreds and we can further study the numbers on that one. Now we will see how we can represent the numbers on abacus. Okay. And now we have studied Indian system and international system as place value system as well. So for understanding we study the million system or international place value system. For further studies again we will continue with the Indian place value system only. Okay. Now we will study the first example. Okay. What they have given C. 6 lakh. How we will separate the periods? This is the first, this is the second and this is the third. Third period means it is the 6 lakh period. Okay. 6 lakhs, 34,724 like this we will read. And we have put a abacus picture like this. Okay. What we can do here is first we will we have to go by one's place only okay while putting the beads we have to go by one's place okay in the one's place how many how much is the number four so in the one's place we have to put four beads one two three four and in the tens place we have two beads one two and in the hundreds place seven beads one two three four five six seven in the place value uh, of in the thousands place or in the hundreds place what is the number of that number of beads we have to put in that place value that is the representation of numbers or abacus it's nothing but the same meaning is the same since in this hundreds place it is seven we have put seven beads here in the thousands place it is four so how many beads we have to put one two three four in the ten thousand place it is three so we have to put three beads one two three in the lakhs place it is six we have to put six beads three four five six this is what is the representation of numbers on the number line it is very simple okay next we will go to the next example okay 70,201 we can read like this okay in the ones place what is the number one so we can put only one beat in the tens place it is zero what we can do we will do we will not put any bead on this one that means if there is a zero we have to understand okay now we have to move to the hundreds place what is there in the hundreds place number two so we have to put two beads in the thousands place again it is zero so we are not putting any bead on that number on that uh, like bar like we can say in the thousands bar we are not putting any bead in the ten thousands place it is seven so we will put seven beads three four five six and seven we will represent it like this when we come to the next example how we will read 25 lakhs in the thousands place it's zero so 25 lakhs 641 we will read like this and we will represent it on the abacus okay in the ones place it is one so one bead in the tens place it is four so four beads in the hundreds place it is six so six beads three four five six in the thousands place it is zero no b in the ten thousand space also zero so no b then where we have to come in the lakhs place it is five see on the lakhs bar we have to put five beads one two three four five and in the ten lakhs place it is two and we have to put two beads like this we can represent the numbers on abacus okay now we will see successors and predecessors.
what are successors and what are predecessors successor means it is the number to the next number whatever the number is given okay if at all i take this number its successor means the next number we are adding one number to the given number and the predecessor means we are subtracting one number from the given number okay c to find the successor of a number successor of a number means add one okay to find the predecessor of the subtract one we will see okay what we are doing when we want to find successor of a number we are adding plus one to the given number okay here what we are doing plus one to the number means successor and minus one to the given number means it is a predecessor okay let's see some examples so that we will come to know what are successors and predecessors see in the first example the given number is 78325 okay if we want to find the successor of this number what we have to do we have to add 1 plus 1 to this number okay it becomes what 78325 becomes 326 one we are adding that's all 78000 326 in the same way when we want to find the predecessor we are subtracting one number from this number so in the ones place 5 becomes 4 because we are subtracting only one number what it becomes 78324 is the predecessor of this number let's see some next example okay 102602 they have given when we want to find the successor we have to add plus 1 to this number what it becomes 1,2603 because 602 becomes 603 one number we are adding so when we want to find the predecessor we are subtracting one number what it becomes 1,2601 because we are subtracting one number what it becomes 1,2601 it becomes now here it comes 10 lakhs okay when we add 1 to this number what it becomes 10 lakhs and 1 this becomes the successor of this number 10 lakhs and 1 okay when we want to find the predecessor of this number we are subtracting 1 from this number what it becomes 9 lakhs 99,900 99 it becomes okay now next example 25001 when we add plus 1 to find the successor what it becomes 25002 if at all we subtract 1 to find the predecessor of this number is what 25000 only like this we can add one number to find the successor and we can subtract one number to find the predecessor of the given number okay